My name is Claire Boonstra. I'm a co-founder of a technology startup called Layer. We are global market leaders in mobile augmented reality, and we add a digital layer to the physical world, making use of the mobile phone. After nearly three years of pioneering and learning, we have recently found our destination in the paper world. We make paper interactive and create products which solve problems for both the publishing industry, their contributors, such as editors and advertisers, as well as the readers. The next generation of leaders is not guided anymore by what others think, or what is socially accepted, or by social conventions, but we dare to develop our own thoughts, talents, intuitions and opinions. And yes, we can and have to be pretty stubborn to break through all these social conventions. We dare to question beliefs, not only popular beliefs about how businesses or governments are run, but also we dare to question our own beliefs. In a world of constant change, we need to be able to adjust quickly and continuously. We are not driven by ego, but by impact. And we understand that great leaders cannot stand on their own, but it is rather great teams or groups that force change. And the next generation of leaders is capable of balancing life, a family, work, a friend's passions, regardless of being male or female. Both mothers and fathers in our next generation are pursuing careers and doing their fair share in the household. We are facing a world which needs to change dramatically. Many primary systems simply don't work anymore. The financial system, the food supply system, energy, natural resources, economics, politics, corporate businesses, who are friends, who are enemies, who are leaders and who are followers. If we continue to live and consume the way we have done so in the past decades, things will go very wrong. So wrong that it can easily lead to new world wars and deep trouble also for the developed and western world. Knowing this, there are two ways to look at it. Or you get totally afraid, into denial and try to defend everything you're currently familiar with. Helping people to change may be our biggest challenge. But there's another way to look at it. Because the need for change is so big, because deep crisis will make it absolutely clear that most old systems are broken, there is a huge opportunity for change. And our generation is capable of leading the world through this continuous change, daring to ride the waves of change. To be honest, I feel that my nomination to become a young global leader comes one year too early. With our company, we still haven't proven our business to be scalable and sustainable yet, but we are very, very close. But I do think that I already have things to give in terms of inspiration, personal growth and entrepreneurship, and some experience on how to build a game-changing business. But what I'd like to get out of the YGL is an amazingly inspirational network of other game changers, of peers who are on the same level of energy, passion and, um, and ambition yet who have completely different backgrounds and insights, which I can learn a lot from and build on. Um, I feel like I'm only getting started, uh, and I'm just so much looking forward to what the next few years will bring. The most difficult task for the coming years for me will be to choose in which area of world improvement I will put my personal effort. But time will tell, I hope.